or what if like he gets bullied or or he sees his friends be bullying somebody else you know you can explain the situation i mean bullying is is very hard you know there's many ways and in, in many cases so it's, it's more of a case on case basis mm -hmm. because if it's like verbal bullying you know you you, you can maybe try to teach your kid on, on how to be smart about it and and beat the bully psychologically right yeah if it gets physical it gets a little more tricky you know i mean you don't want your kid to back to back down in life but you don't you don't want to instill the the sense that violence should be an answer to things you know mm -hmm. that that should you know you want to sort of teach that violence sh should be avoided uh almost at all costs you know with the exceptions of you know uh your family or yourself being in danger but you know it's, it's a hard job it's definitely a hard job and it's you know it's not black and white there's gray areas where parents i'm sure don't know what to do yeah but i think that if at least you have parents that are trying i mean they're never gonna be perfect but if just they're trying the kid's gonna be decent it's not gonna be a burden to society i'm worried about the ones that don't even give a fuck that don't even try you know what uh what gives that um what are some of the characteristics that you think are maybe red flags okay so like kiko as the as the president of uh Sir Antonio, you know or whatever you would name your country and you had mm -hmm. the ability to to be uh an one i don't want to say dictator but the one ruler right the kingdom mm -hmm. yeah. uh where would you what would be like uh, the system that you'd implant, implement? Like strike one, strike two, strike three. Yep, no more kids for you. Chop his nuts. You, <laughs> you or, fuck up. <laughs> you fuck up, we kill you. Oh. <laughs> That's it. You know, I hear that there's a, a spot open Very up in North simple. Korea. You come here, you fuck up once, and we kill you. We're going to make an example and let the people know we do not like it this year. You bullied the guy, you called him fat, we killed you. We killed you. You're dead. <laughs> You're, you're dead. I hear there's a there's an opening. Did you look under the girl's panties? Or you think you're a big shot? Behead him in front of his parents. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, I think you'd fit really. Uh, what other bullying is something that's like, like you know what, like cyber bullying, right? Yeah, you uh, you, especially you, now. You share some girls like naked photos, right? To Ooh. with your friends and people. Oh, you're right. That's fucked up. Well, okay, yeah. Okay, you think you're funny? Uh, did you, okay, we're going to digitally. A stick is a stake in your anus, and we're going to digitally send it to everybody. I mean, ideally, ideally, those are things that will fix the situation. I'm pretty sure they'll send the right message, and nobody will do it again. However, in the free society that we live in, that is frowned upon. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I mean, if I was a, if I was a president, like, like what things would I do to to improve like the life of kids in school type shit? I guess I was meaning, meaning more like, you know, what are the red flags? Like what, where, if, if I, I'm getting at is if I'm a parent and I see myself doing this and I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I remember listening to the Broski Dudes podcast. That's a red flag. <laughs> right. I, I mean, red flag definitely is when you see your kid, when you see your kid, like, like if you want to get into like the worst red flag you can see so that we can get it out first and then we can take a look at, at milder red flags but like a big red flag on a kid is if he hurts animals yeah if yeah. you see your kid like <laughs> killing birds or like oh look mom i killed a frog i put it through his eye and shit like i put a pencil through his eye and you know watched it while he bled you know <laughs> <laughs> that's like, a dead giveaway <laughs> i mean not only that's a red flag you should call the authorities <laughs> right away because this kid I mean, again, if if he was if he was my ideal Soviet, uh, <laughs> you know, dictatorship, uh, you know, that 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 kid burn him, burn him in front of everybody. What the fuck is wrong with him? Killing little birdies and for what the fuck? I'm mean, but that's not even something I would do. What the fuck is wrong with you, little kid? He's dead. Like no, but for real though. <laughs> every time you hear any story about a serial killer, there's always like. Some old ladies like, yeah, I used to be the neighbor, and one time I saw him kill a birdie, and 
<laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, somebody picked up on it, right? Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the Broski Doodles podcast today. We hope you had a lot of fun listening to it. We had a lot of fun recording it. If you like what you heard, go ahead and smash that like button and hit us up on all of our social handles. Uh, leave us a comment so we can talk to you online and figure out what else to talk about online. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>